Man, that, I haven't experienced, you know, a playoff game in the NBA yet, but like they said, like uh, before the game, Jordan came up to me. He's like, this is going to be close to, you know, what a playoff game feel like. I'm like, you know, I'm ready for the moments. You know, that's what I was made for. That's what I'm built for. That's what I, you know, look forward to uh, for. So, uh, you know, just going out there tonight was just wanted to, you know, uh, just do what I do out there. And, uh, you know, we didn't come out with the win, but I had fun out there. Nah, it's just another basketball play, and that was a foul. <laughs> Definitely a foul, but, uh, you know, Steph Curry. Yeah, on the baseline, on the fade, but it's just Steph, so I I guess it wasn't a foul. <laughs> but, but not, uh, you know, it, them, them, you know, guys like that, you know, everybody, I go at anybody. It doesn't matter who it is. Uh, you know, I just feel as though I can, if I, I feel as though I can go at anybody, I just go at them. What you asking me? So what's it like guarding Steph Curry specifically? Uh, you know, he he, he a great dynamic player. He can do all uh, all things. He's a four level scorer. Um, you know, he can shoot he inside, mid range three, and even beyond the three. So you know, he gives it uh, on all aspects of the game. But just guarding him is, is is fun to guard. You know, him keep moving around. You got to chase him. It's it's just fun to guard. Just to you know be on the other side of guarding him is fun. Nah, <laughs> I don't get tired. <laughs> How's your face? I just got out of the shower. <laughs> I guess you're taking my hits off? Oh, I thought you were talking about I look tired or something. Nah, yeah. but yeah, that was supposed to be a flagrant foul. I don't understand how that wasn't. Jonathan Kaminga hit me right in my face, but uh, he didn't call it a flagrant, but my face is good. He was going to miss free throws, but I, I know it was from you know my face getting hit in my eye. I couldn't really see, but it's all good now, though. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what it feel like a little bit. Uh, you know, especially when the crowd get into it, it gives me them playground vibes. Uh, you know, for me, just playing playground basketball my whole life. Uh, you know, get the excitement in the game, and, and you hear the you know people on the sideline, you know, start cheering you on and stuff like that. It it gives me those vibes again. Nah, not at all. Like I, I'm I'm young. Uh, you know, I just want to bring that juice, that joy, and that energy to uh, towards my teammates. You know, coming off four games and five nights, I know some of them are tired. Uh, you know, they're they're up in there, up there in age. But you know, I'm young, so I want to bring that juice. Um, what's the emphasis been like? You've been this basketball player for a little bit now. How much more of an emphasis have you put on the role of Jordan in, in getting you to the league and been distributed? Uh, you know, for me is. I, I feel as I can get anywhere on the floor. So, uh, you know, my teammates tell me all the time, you know, don't settle. They can't stay in front of you. Keep getting to the lane, creating for yourself and creating for your teammates. So just keep hearing that from my teammate. It, 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 it installs into, into my brain. And, and just to keep going and being in attack mode, and, you know, Coach Malone, and uh, we went on that run. He just keep telling me, like, don't stop. Keep going in attack mode. They can't stop you. So, you know, stuff like that just keeps me going and keeps me, you know, that, that foot on the gas, you know. We, that's how we got that big lead. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I know every single body in the league is is looking forward to playoffs. But for me, I'm really looking forward to playoffs. That's something I thrive in, in and that's something you know I look forward to. I'm made for the big lights, and uh, you know when the big lights come on, I shine. I think there was a fourth quarter timeout where Jamal was was in your ear a bunch. Can, can you share anything about kind of what he's telling you in those types of situations? Oh yeah, um, he thought I wasn't calling a uh, like couple play calls, and I was trying to call him, but like we wasn't like on the same page with, with the teammates in the second unit. But he thought Jamal thought I wasn't calling the play calls, but I was trying to tell him I was. But it was just a miscommunication with me in the second unit. So sometimes like it wasn't a play call being called, and then the clock kept winding down in this butter situation, and you gotta go. Oh, Kaminga, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he came up to me and said that. And then I was me. <laughs> and all his teammates have said it too, though. But John Kaminga is a great player, great talent, and even great, uh, greater person, too. That's my guy. Nah, I, I don't think it was intentional. I think he tried to make a play on the ball. Uh, you know, he apologized to me. He, he asked me, was I all right? Stuff like that. So, you know, I was, well, was kind of mad, but, you know, I understand that was. You know, a friend of mine, I don't think he meant it on purpose. And, uh, you know, it was, went from there. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Mm -hmm.